Good morning. Welcome to our channel Egypt Excursions Tours. Today we are going to, to do a day tour to Giza pyramids, the greatest and the most beautiful among the Egyptian monuments. To know more about uh, the Egyptian history and archaeology and to get all the videos from our channel, please like, share or comment and don't forget to activate the bell. The Egyptian pyramids, there are 109 of the pyramids all over Egypt. They were built on the western part of the Nile. The first capital of Egypt was called Memphis, in which we have nowadays the statue of King Ramesses like we can see now. So the capital was Memphis on the eastern part of the Nile. On the western part of the Nile it was the necropolis of Memphis. So we had the pyramids of Giza pyramids, we have the pyramids at Saqqara, the step pyramid, we have the pyramids at Dahshur, the bent pyramid and the complete pyramid, then we have the Maidum pyramid, about 70 km south of Giza plateau. And don't forget we have another pyramid, other pyramids in the area of Al Fayyum, in Hawara and also in one place called Al Lahun. Giza pyramids are famous for the great pyramids of Egypt are famous also for the great statue, the Sphinx. Then we have the place called Memphis, in which we have this great statue of King Ramesses II. It was the capital of Egypt in that time. And from Memphis, we had the name of Egypt that we say today, Egypt, from the name of the site called Hikubitah. When the Greek people came here, it was difficult to pronounce Hikubitah, so they said Egyptus, Egypt, like we say today. Misr in ancient Egyptian language, which means major, which means a fortress. Misr in Arabic language means the inaugurated land by the Arab people when they came here in Egypt. Few minutes from Memphis, we have the place called Saqqara in which we have the Great Pyramid or the Step Pyramid, the first pyramid all over our history, dates back to 2850 BC. And this pyramid was built by the King Zoser, but it was built for by his great and famous and genius engineer Imhotep, the one who comes in peace. Imhotep, he was famous in that time, he held high positions and he built the first step pyramid like we can see today. 35 kilometers at the south of Giza plateau we have the place called Dahshur in which we have the bent pyramid, the first uh, and the great pyramid like Giza pyramids today. We call it the bent pyramid. Why? I will tell you later uh, in, one, in another video. But it was called the Pent Pyramid because they changed the angle of the pyramid from 54 to be 43. And 43 degrees today, until today, until that time, they used in all the pyramids of Egypt. At the south of uh, Egypt, 70 kilometers about, we have the place called Maidum. And this pyramid was built by King Honi. And King Honi who was the last king of this family, the, four, uh, the third dynasty. But this pyramid was, was completed by his son, King Senefro. And by the way, King Senefro, he was the founder of the fourth dynasty. And he continued the pyramid of his father. Then he built the bent and the complete pyramid at Dahshur. Giza pyramids, when we speak about Giza pyramid, they are the most famous pyramids all over our history. We can't speak about Giza pyramids without speaking about the great statue, the Sphinx. Giza pyramids are one of the ancient seven wonders of the world. In Egypt we had two. The Giza pyramids, until the day, thanks God we have Giza pyramids. And we, have, we had the lighthouse of Alexandria, but it was fallen 1303. And today we have another a place called the Fort of Kaipei was built in the same place in which we had the lighthouse of Alexandria of Egypt. Now we can see in our right hand side the Great Pyramid of Cheops. 
Then Kefren, who built the second pyramid and who built the Sphinx, like, like that, like we can see now. Then we had the small pyramid of King Mykerinius, Khufu Khafra Minkaura. And we can notice here the name of Ra, the great god of the sun, Amen Ra later. In our left hand side we can see small pyramids, for they are for queens and princesses. These pyramids were built to be like a tomb for one pharaoh, so each pyramid was for one pharaoh. How many pyramids we have all over Egypt? We have 109. Until 2008, always we said 108. Then in 2008, we discovered a new pyramid uh, nearby Saqqara. Left hand side here, we can see the place, the necropolis or the tombs, the modern tombs of the place here called Nazil Samman. And in front of us, we can see the pyramids of Egypt. Normally, when, we, when you visit Giza pyramids, you don't go from this side, you go from the other side nearby Marit Hotel today. But I prefer to take from here because this, it was a classic uh, panorama of Egypt in which you can see the pyramids and you can see also we have Sphinx seems to be like a gourd in front of the great pyramids of Egypt. The Sphinx 20 meters high and 57 meter length. Now we can see the panoramic view. In this panoramic view we can see the small pyramids like you can see now. We have three pyramids, small pyramids at the south of this pyramid of Mykerinius. We have three at the east part at the east of the Great Pyramid. So they were pyramids for queens and princesses. The height of that pyramid about uh, uh, from 12 until 15 meters high. Giza pyramids were built to be like one tomb for one pharaoh, so in inside the pyramid we had different corridors. Here we have the Great Pyramid of Cheops or Khofu. This pyramid was built as we can see now and the height of the pyramid 146 one day. If you look to the top the pyramid lost 9 meters during the history, so today is 137. The base of the pyramids of all the pyramids are squared and the entrance at the north like we can see now. So we have two entrances. The first entrance at about uh, the height about 27 meters uh, height and the other one at about uh, uh, 11, meter, uh, 11 meter maximum. All the blocks of the pyramid they are 2,300,000 blocks of limestone. Inside the pyramid, to avoid what happened in the Pent Pyramid of Dahshur, they built for us five rooms, like we can see now, lined with granite. The granite is a resistant and hardest stone of Egypt, brought from Aswan, about 1,000 kilometers south of Cairo. So they made the, the fifth room in a pyramidal form in that way to relieve any pressure above the peril chamber. The Great Pyramid, 100,000 of people, they worked for the Pharaoh to do for us the Great Pyramid. Now we can move to the second pyramid or the pyramid of King Kefren. On the top you can see we have until today the remaining part of the casing part of the pyramid. By the way, the casing part of the first and the second pyramid, it was brought from the eastern part of the Nile. Today, south of Cairo, 40 kilometers, the place called Maadi or Tura. So you can see the second pyramid seems to be more higher than the first one because it was built uh, above a higher point about uh, uh, 8 meters higher. So when you see the second pyramid it seems to be more, more higher than the first one. If you look to the pyramid, the second pyramid eroded by the rains, by the water of the rains and by the wind by the time. One side of this pyramid is 210 meters, the first pyramid 230 meters. This pyramid of Kefren, it was built uh, plus the Sphinx and uh, later we'll speak about the Sphinx. Now we can see a panoramic view for all the three pyramids like you can see now. And another time you can see the small pyramid or the pyramid of uh, Mykerinius, 
Minkaura, who built for us the small pyramid. And you can see now the first and the second pyramid, they had the same eggs because they built the pyramid according to the Orions, the Orions or the center of Orion of in the sky. Now we can see the third pyramid of King Mikarinius, Minkaura. When I speak about the casing part, you can see blocks of granite. The granite uh, used was used in the time to cover the pyramid outside. But the, the pharaoh died early, so he didn't have time. He didn't have maybe money to contain all to, to continue all the work here. So the as we can see, about one third of the pyramid uh, of the casing part of the pyramid finished today. Now another time we can see the second pyramid and the left hand side in the deeper point we can see the the first pyramid or the pyramid of King Cheops. Now from the panoramic view, let's move to go to the Sphinx, the most famous and the greatest statue all over Egypt. This day I use the courage to enjoy the pyramids and it's lovely. On your left hand side you can see the Great Pyramid, right hand side you can see the second pyramid and right hand side you can see now the third pyramid. Going by the carriage, it was difficult to, to keep your hand steady. So you can see it's a hazy, uh, the, 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 the video is hazy sometime. Now we can see the Greek statue known as a Sphinx. Shesep Anchen hieroglyphic, which means the living image of the Pharaoh. The Sphinx, the height of the statue, 20 meters high, which means about one building of seven floors. And uh, length, 57 meters length. The face of the statue, or the head of the statue, represents uh, uh, King Kefren, the builder of the second pyramid. And uh, some people, they said, maybe we have uh, another 20 statue, but until today we didn't find this one. As you can see, the Sphinx, the great Sphinx, as we, can, as we say always, we had the Nemes, the headdress of the Pharaoh, used uh, to cover the head of the Pharaoh, with the ears are outside, with the cobra to protect our Pharaoh. Nearby the Sphinx, we have the Temple of Mummification, or called the Valley Temple. This temple, it was made by uh, of uh, limestone, huge blocks of limestone, lined and covered and cased by huge stones of granite, like we can see now. All the blocks used there of granite, of uh, limestone, from the same area of Giza, but the granite was brought from the area called Aswan. Aswan is a, a, in that time it was a quarry to brought all the granite from that place. After you finish, you go to the pyramids. After you finish mummification, you bring your mummy, the mummy of the pharaoh, to the pyramid. So, if you like our video, please like, comment, and share. You can follow also our page on Instagram, Egypt Excursion Tours, and also if you have any question if you need to do any video about any place of Egypt so make yourself free to contact us through this page or Egypt excursion tours through uh, Facebook and we'll do that for you thank you for your listening and thank you